Tuesday, Wolfpack. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys had uh, fun with Monday or today's workout. I got uh, quite a lot of fun text messages. Um, definitely something that we're going to continue to work on more. Some power output workouts, um, some sprints, right? It was really, really cool. Um, I only got to coach one class today, but I watched a lot of classes. Um, it was a lot of fun to see people really get uncomfortable in this workout. Um, get the intended stimulus, grind through some uh, really, really tough reps on these movements. Um, and I thought everybody looked like they were having fun, but who knows, maybe uh, maybe I was wrong. But uh, it was pretty cool to see you guys um, get after it today. So we'll keep doing that. But Tuesday, we're going to kind of uh, revert back a little bit on our split jerks. Okay, We started to work some heavy volume. Um, we're going to kind of peel back to these mid-range percentages, 60 to 80%. Um, and we're going to go uh, two reps every 75 seconds. So plenty of time in the EMOM to really uh, focus on each split jerk rep, right? These weights should be something, like I've said in the past, you can put um, a lot of focus into the mental aspect of the lift, right? Um, if you go too heavy, right, you're not actually able to think about all the correct steps of the lift um, during it and lift the weight if it's too heavy, right? So we need to find that sweet spot where... It's something that we can put a ton of focus into the mechanics of the lift, right? Um, the front rack position, the dip, the extension, the footwork, um, but also be a heavy enough weight to um, challenge ourselves a little bit, right? And that way uh, we do have to use the technique and we can't just like manipulate the barbell however we want because it's light, right? If we go too light, sometimes we get you know too much extension, the bar goes flying, but we can correct it because it's super light. So we need to find that weight that if we don't do the technique correct, uh, we have a potential of failing, um, but not so heavy that uh, we aren't able to actually focus on what we're doing at hand, if that makes sense. So every 75 seconds uh, for 10 sets, you got 20 total reps. Um, this shouldn't be rushed. You shouldn't be feeling like you have to touch and go these reps off your chest, right? You should be able to bring it down, reset, kind of think about how that first rep went, um, any adjustments that you need to make. And then on the second rep, we definitely need to focus even more on your hip extension and even more on your catch position because we do have that fatigue um, <clears throat> from the first one, okay? So don't expect the second one to be easier than the second than the first one, right? So we're just working on um, some moderate weight here. You can build yourself between um, these numbers, but again, we don't want to go overboard on this and make it too heavy because this is supposed to be quote technique work or technique session. So it should be a real comfortable weight that we can focus on everything all at once. Okay, kind of rambled on the same stuff there, but you get the gist. Okay. Um, Cool, 50 minute AMRAP for B. Um, this is just meant to be as many rounds as possible. You do get a minute rest after each round, which means we should be focusing on keeping a little bit more intensity than normal, or maybe pushing a little bit bigger sets on these movements. Um, 10 handstand push-ups, 10 toes to bar, and then we've got um, a two dumbbell overhead carry for RX. Okay, and then if you got handstand walks, go ahead and walk yourself 50 feet, real cool like that. Um, then you rest a minute, okay? So uh, we are looking for, my mouse is tweaking out, wow. Um, we're looking for hopefully somewhere between four, you know, four plus rounds, something like that would be fantastic, which gives you about, what, uh, three minutes per round with the rest, four, eight, 12, 16-ish, just about, um, so it's going to put about three and a half, four rounds, so make sure um, that whatever we hands from push-up we do here, whatever rep count we do here, whatever movement we do here, you can get this done in one to two sets, especially to start, okay? Ideally, we'll be able to do whatever movement this is, 10 in a row, okay? Uh, 10 in a row, and then we can cr crank this out, right? So our first round, you know, call it 20 seconds, maybe 20 seconds, so you're like at 45 seconds to a minute. You know, it's probably gonna take you 30 to 45 seconds. So we're looking at uh, like a two minute round, rest a minute, so we get that first round done in three minutes, which obviously gives you the potential to do five. Clearly, we're gonna fall off, we're gonna add fatigue, we're gonna slow down. But if you're looking for the direct um, time stimulus, right, pick a handstand push-up set that's one set, pick a toe to bar set that's one set. Even if we bring the number down to, to six or eight, whatever it may be, it's meant to be on the wall fast, off the wall, quick break, on the toe to bar fast, off the bar, and then spend the rest of the time um, doing this, especially if we're handstand walking, right? This is going to clearly be the hardest part um, of the workout after the fatigue from the shoulders and then obviously the midline fatigue. So these need to be our, quote, easy parts of the workout. Um, especially to start. So make them quick. If you want to bring the numbers down or, right, if we're working on these movements, just give it one good set, okay? Crank these out, one set each, and then move on to the next one. Um, and then I think you're gonna get a really good training stimulus. You can get through the workout, you get through multiple rounds and reps, um, get a lot of volume in, okay? So that would be my recommendation. If you have questions, let me know. Get with your coach if you need something specific for this. You could even do like 
you know, a set of handstand push-ups, get to the ground and crank out um, the rest in regular push-ups, and that's totally fine. Same thing here, regular toes to bar. If you get five, great. Go back up for knees, knee raises really quick. Get that 10 in and move on. Okay, a lot of ways to do it. Have a great Tuesday. See you in the gym. Bye.